Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you stopped by to visit me. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my NARS concealer and this concealer is in the color Almond. So if you're anything close to my skin tone, this one may work for you. It's the perfect color to conceal some of my dark spots. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just rubbing that into my face. I really love this concealer because it does give a good amount of coverage without making you look too cakey and too perfect. I do not like it, like looking too perfect, so I'm really loving the NARS Radiance Concealer just to conceal some of those dark spots. So the next thing I'm going to take is another color in the NARS Radiant Concealer, and that's in medium dark two caramel and my black opal even true in toast and I'm going to mix those together and just put it in my highlighting areas which is basically my under eye my forehead nose cupid's bow and chin and this just use your finger to blend it out if you don't have a brush I do that all the time it keeps the product warm and it moves it very well or you can grab a brush and I'll be grabbing a brush in a second because it's just a little bit quicker and this is supposed to be a simple quick look so yeah the reason I I mix the two concealers is because the caramel is just not yellow enough for me and I do like somewhat of like a natural highlight I don't really like a drastic highlight so with it not having yellow it looks a little too Pale, should I say I don't know it just doesn't look like it has enough yellow in it so that's why I mix it I originally bought it to um, mix with the almond and I have done that but it still doesn't give me like that highlighted yellow you know undertone so I tried this and I liked it and I'm still trying it out the next thing that I'm going to do is take the mega glow by wet n wild the highlighting concealer palette and I'm going to just use the highlighting shade because I've been loving it so far so yeah just set under those eyes and in those highlighted areas that you place the concealer just to give you that pop you know and to make sure your concealer doesn't crease as much as it would if you didn't have a powder So moving right along, I'm going to take my cover effects. What is this? The color. It's N90 and it's the pressed mineral foundation that I've been loving so far. Um, you're gonna take that and you're gonna set the rest of your face with it. I personally like to whatever use whatever is left on the brush after I use majority around the places I did not already set and just brush it over the highlighted areas and you'll see me doing that but it just kind of just blends everything in together right here I'm taking the makeup e makeup forever pro sculpting duo and this is in the darkest shade I believe it is I don't know the number anymore because it's off but it's the darkest one and I'm just going to go into the hollows of my cheekbones around my forehead um, down my nose just to bring some type of shade to that area and mind you I don't really do a very dark shade so this can almost be like bronzing to some people but uh, this is something I do just to create a little bit of shadow and to just warm my face up a little. I know shadows are meant to be in the grays or whatever, however you do it, but there's no rules in makeup and I actually like the way this looks. So next I'm just going to take the other half of the Pro Sculpting Duo. This highlight is everything. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, the highest points of my cheekbones. Uh, down my nose, cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. I don't highlight my forehead because my head is huge. And I have a lot of <laughs> imperfections in that area, and I don't want to highlight those. So that's what you want to do. If you have a lot of imperfections, do not put a sparkly highlight on those areas unless you want to bring attention to them. 
So yeah, and I'm going to go under my brows as well, which I don't normally do, but I feel like today I wanted a little bit of uh, you know? <laughs> so let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to take my Pro Primer HD High Definition Eyeshadow Primer by LA Girl, and this is in the natural color. I don't know if that's the name of it. Yeah, Nude is the name of it. And I'm just going to blend that in. And then I'm going to take my cover, what is this? My cover effects powder and go into the crease with that. Then I'm going to take my shade and light palette, which I was so excited to use because I haven't used it in a while. And I'm going to take that first color. I believe it's Lat Latinus. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> And I'm going to go into the crease again. Then we're going to go into the really deep brown, second to the last color. And that is Solas. And we're going to pack that onto the eyelid. Pack it on as much as you want to get the tone that you want. Then you're going to take that same deep brown color and you're going to go into the bottom lash line and you're going to smoke it out a little bit. I'm going to take the two colors that I worked with, or the three, um, the dark brown, the crease, the two crease shades, two crease shades, and <laughs> that was a struggle. And I'm just going to blend it out just to smoke it out. So then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Simma Brown now, and I'm going to go into the waterline with that. And then I'm going to, did I say the waterline? <laughs> and then I'm going to go on the lash line at the top, and I'm going to just line the top up a little bit. Smudging it, I'm not really trying to make a wing line or a perfect line. So I'm just going to do my mascara off camera and when I come back I'm going to be using my Milani br brush, my Milani blush and this color is Romantic Rose in 01 and place those on my cheekbones really lightly. So the next step is to take my um, e.l.f. I had to bring out my e.l.f. matte lip color and this is in the color Praline. And I'm just going to fill in my lips. I was going for a nudie look at first, but then I was like, mm, no, let's let's give it a little pop. So I went in with my Jordana lip liner in Plush Plum, and I began to line my lips. Here I am going to be doing like a gradient effect. So I'm going to line my lips, and then in the corners I'm going to kind of bring it in a little bit so that I can keep the highlight like lighter color in the middle and then have a more depth on the corners of my lips. And that concludes the look. I hope you all enjoyed it and if you did enjoy please don't hesitate to hit the like button. As usual have a great day, night, or whatever it is where you are. God bless. Bye.